morning everyone and welcome to Crafty Saturday. This is Michelle with Making Memories with Michelle.com and I'm so glad you're joining me today. Feel free to say hello, um, make a comment, ask a question. I can't promise that I'll see what you're posting as I'm crafting, but I will certainly do my best. Okay, and if I miss your comment, I will go back and review everything later. So I'm trying to get the lighting going on because it's kind of an overcast Saturday here in North Carolina. Um, so let's see if this is going to work. I do have a host code this month. It is ASYJTX9S and that can be found on my blog um, in the right hand corner near the top. And the reason I use a host code is because it is a really great way for me to see who my monthly VIPs are. I've started a new monthly VIP group and if you spend $50 in any given month using my host code, then at the end of the month I'm going to send you a free exclusive four card tutorial with cards that are only available for my VIPs and if you're a member of my Stamping Bee team, you'll also get that free tutorial as a little perk for being part of my team. All right, so again, VIP group, it's something new. Um, I think it's a great way to kick off this new catalog that's starting in June. $50 spent and you get a free four card exclusive tutorial, not in any of my blogs or classes, no club, it's just for you. All right. So, I'm going to set that aside. Today we're going to be using the new Stampin' Up! in colors. S these are available right now um, with that early release. And we have, this is probably my favorite, Grapefruit Grove, Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover, Lovely Lipstick, Oops, and pineapple punch. Now, these are the new Stampin' Pads, and if you haven't seen them, they open. No, they're, mine is brand new, so that one's a little stiff, okay? And instead of having to do the flip, it just opens and pushes right in. And I'm being very careful on camera here. And then to close it, you just pull it out. I happen to pick the stiffest one I have and click it shut, okay? I noticed that I hadn't clicked my blueberry bushel shut all the way. So when you're doing it, make sure that it's seated because you don't want it to dry out, okay? Good morning, Janine. They're really hard to open in the beginning. They are hard to open in the beginning, but they will loosen slightly with time. What I really like about these is the ones that I, the old ones, right, that I have now, I know when I put them back in my um, caddy, if I push it too hard or too fast, it will slide open. And so when I go to get it the next time, it's slightly open and my ink will dry up. The other thing I want to show you, this is really cool. I showed this at a team meeting the other day and everybody's like, oh, I didn't know that. So let's look at my lovely lipstick. On the back side, these are labels. And so these will just peel right off. And you can place it right here whoops got it on crooked again I'm trying to do this on camera hmm. there we go okay so you can put your label right on the outside and then this is awesome. See, I've used this one quite a bit. It's not quite as stiff. Right here, you can put another label. So if you've got two or three 
pads open in front of you, you can see at a glance what color you're using. And I think that's wonderful. I'm really excited about that. That'll help at classes if you're using multiple um, ink pads on a project, or if you have, um, like if you have it on your, your space. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Okay, the other thing I like about these new ink pads is they stack. This is fantastic. They're gonna take up so much less space on your crafting shelves and really nice for transporting. You can have a nice, neat stack of ink pads. So let's craft, enough talking, let's get busy. Today I'm going to make some note cards. And if you haven't used the Stampin' Up! note cards, I think this is one of the best deals in the catalog. So it's five and a half by, or five inches by three and a half, and they come in Whisper White, they come in very vanilla, and in the new catalog, there's some pre-printed ones with mint macaron and blackberry bliss watercolor images. They're really awesome, and I showed those last week, and they come with envelopes. There's 20 in a pack, and it's such a great deal, and they're a really nice size. I always tell people, if you need to send something and you don't have a lot to say, or they make wonderful invitation size, or just a cute little pick-me-up for someone. Good morning, Janice. Good to see you. So, and I'm also using the new Share What You Love stamp set. And I've already gone ahead and put those on my blocks, but this stamp set is the one that's in the new pre-release um, that's available right now in those three levels. So you have, you know, your basic, your medium, and you're gotta have it all. And of course you know I had to have it all. So this is the Love What You Do stamp set. And I'm going to use this watercolor wash background these pretty little flowers here. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous spring day outside, so I'm gonna use It's a Beautiful Day. And then I'm using this smaller little watercolor to color the flowers. Okay, so these are kind of mimicking what I did on my blog yesterday. So let's take a look and see what we're going to do. So I'm gonna start with my lightest color first. When I stamp, I like to do light and then move into dark. So I have my pineapple punch and start, oh, because this is photopolymer, remember when we use a photopolymer stamp, I like a piercing mat underneath. It just gives it a little more cushion. Okay, so here's my pineapple punch ink pad. Look what I did. Oh my goodness. I didn't clean my stamp the last time. Not to worry, that can be fixed. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera now, and I don't have a reinker. That's why we always, always, always clean our stamps. I can't believe I did that. I have never done that before in my whole life. That's crazy. I didn't ruin it. Don't panic. But isn't that a good lesson to have? You know what? That's why I like Facebook because I get to make the mistakes and teach you what not to do. I know you're probably laughing right now. All right. So I'm going to go and clean my ink pad. The new Stampin' Chamois that um, is coming in the new catalog is going to make it really easy to remember to clean your stamps because it's going to be right next to you all the time. And you don't have to get your scrub out. You won't have to... I'm just going to make sure all of these are clean because heaven forbid I do that again. Good grief. Um... It's just going to make it so much easier to remember, and you can wipe it off really quick. All right, so we're not going to use pineapple punch today because it needs a little tender loving care. To clean that ink pad, what I'm going to do when I get my reinker in my order this week, I'm going to absorb all of that ink out of that pad with a um, paper towel. I'm just going to soak up all that ink and take it as much out as I can, and then I'll re-ink it. But 
Wow. Do as I say, not as I do. That's what my father taught me, and I should remember that. Okay, let's try another color, shall we? Um, I want to make sure that's good and clean. Wow. All right, we're going to go with uh, Grapefruit Grove, and I'm going to stamp it off first on my scratch paper because it's a lovely color, but I don't want it that dark on my paper. I'm going to put it down. We're working horizontally today on a landscape mode. Okay, so there's grapefruit. Give it a good scrub and wash. And we're going to move over here. My goodness. You know I have a big table and sometimes it just doesn't feel big enough. I think because I'm trying to do it while on camera. Okay, lovely lipstick is next. Stamp it off. And that's going to be okay, and I'll show you why. I want to scrub that one a little bit. Get that one nice and clean. Now I have Call Me Clover. Ink that one up. Stamp it off. Ooh, so pretty. Give that a good scrub. And now the blueberry bushel. And stamp it off. You can make some really pretty scratch paper doing this. All right. Now, I've got a Memento ink pad, and I just re-inked all my Memento pads. I have like 10 of them, because um, I use them for class. But I just re-inked them this week. And I'm going to stamp my flowers. Remember I said that one's going to be okay? Watch. I'm just going to make sure that my flower is kind of hanging out in that blank spot. And we'll fix that in a minute. Okay, while I've got my uh, black out, I'm going to stamp my greeting. And I haven't used, well maybe I did use Beautiful Day, but I like to stamp it on scratch paper first just to make sure it inks up properly. I'm going to set this right over here in the right hand corner. Does everybody have plans this weekend? I am going to uh, a musical, a student musical today. My friend Julia She's a fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrator. She has a kids drama group, and her drama group is doing Susical. So I'm going to go to a matinee this afternoon and watch the kids. I think it'll be fun. Okay, all of my stamping there. Now... I have this little watercolor, and I'm going to add the color, and we're going to start light. I'm looking for my flowers here. Okay, we're going to start light and ink it up and plop that right in the center. How cool is that? So you've got the same color stamped off in one shade and then that's completely stamped there okay remember what am I supposed to do clean my stamp you got it okay let's go um, this one is the blueberry one ink 
and then just press it in the centers. So it, I like it because it gives kind of that um, watercolor two-tone look that is just so casual and relaxed, but so pretty. And then Call Me Clover. And finally, lovely lipstick. So there's a, and see, remember I said we were going to fix that one? Look at that. Oh, so pretty. All right, let me close these up really fast and make sure you get it nice and tight. Did you hear it snap? Let's see if they all do that. Well, that one didn't snap, but I know it's closed because it slid in. Okay. Nice. Clean. Now, I have this handy dandy new toy. You want to play with it? I haven't got to play with it yet. This is the new corner rounder punch. And let's round some of these corners. I want to punch them. Oh, look at that. That's going to be really pretty. So get it right in there. And it punches right down. Okay. Let's see. Oh, perfect. It looks like it's going to go really far, but it's actually really nice. Okay, let's do that. I really think I'm going to like that. Oh, that is a really easy punch. You're going to love that. Just lay it flat, punch those corners, and it really... Okay, the wind just blew all of my cards onto the floor. Okay, the perils of Facebook Live, I tell you. Now, the reason I wanted to punch those is I've got that right on that piece of Grapefruit Grove paper. So that will be very cool. Let me grab my snail really quick. Charles came over to see what is going on. Charles is my Shih Tzu and he heard a crash. He's like, Mom, what did you do? And blueberry bushel. Lovely lipstick. So in my Super Saturday class, which is going to be on June 2nd, Saturday, June 2nd, there will be a in color stamp a stack that's very very similar to this one you will get a full pack of note cards you'll have all the paper pre-cut um it will come with a pack of pearls and you can make 20 cards that's Saturday, June 2nd. It's going to be at the Dan Pollitt Center in Pittsburgh. What do you think? It's a little crooked. It's okay. You know, that's the beauty of handmade. 
we might think, oh, it's crooked or it didn't stamp right. But you know what? The person who gets that card is going to be so thankful and so grateful and know that you put your heart and soul into making them. And they are just going to love it. I received several cards in the mail this week from friends. And there wasn't a single one where I picked it apart or thought anything negative about it. I just thought it was lovely. I trimmed this one. I wanted to see how this looked. That they took the time out of their day not only to make me a card, but to actually get it in the mail. Because isn't that the hard part? That's the hardest part for me. I can sit here and craft all night, all day. Well, don't not all day. Don't tell my boss I do that. Um, and then the actual act of going to the mailbox is like torture. I don't get it. It's just at the foot of my driveway, and it's a tiny little driveway. So I'm going to add some pearls. Can you see those? Just to add a little something special on there. We have some new pearls. Lots of new pearls coming. We've got some beautiful artisan pearls. We have some uh, faceted shapes and pearls. It's, they're just going to be pearl everything this year because of the 30th anniversary. And it's really awesome. Ah, that one's stuck. There we go. Come on, stick that one up there. Why not? And there we go. You know what? In the course of 15 to 20 minutes, we just made four pretty floral cards that are going to be just wonderful to share with friends, to share with family. You could use it as an invitation. You could write just a little note of encouragement or thanks. These are wonderful and they don't take very long. And what I like about using the pre-cut note cards is, you know, you don't think about how much time it takes to get your paper trimmer out, measure and trim your cards, and all of that. But this takes all of that away. I'm going to have all of the measurements for the paper on my blog today. So pop on over, take a look. If you would like to order these brand new ink pads. They are available early. If you would like to order the Love What You Do stamp set, that is available right now too. And remember, again, when you use the host code ASYJTX9S and you purchase over $50 during the month of May, you'll be part of my VIP group and you will get a tutorial exclusive for cards that nobody else is going to get. All right, so do as I say, not as I do. Remember to clean your ink pads every time you use them. And until next Saturday, have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.